Just made it to the hotel in the Woodlands. Uh, going to get some sleep, get out to the expo tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how it, go, how it goes with sleeping with three kids in one room. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was not a bad drive and looking forward to a shake out with some friends tomorrow and hopefully enjoy a nice fun day, relaxing uh, before the race. All right, we're heading out to uh, go get some breakfast. It's Friday morning, March 5th. Uh, race is tomorrow. Family's already downstairs because everyone was already getting hangry. So just me and the little guy. Gonna meet up with my buddy Mark and do a little shakeout after breakfast and go for uh, go to the expo to pick up a packet. Chaos has begun. Well, it's already been going. Yeah, for hours, for days. I don't think I ever departed chaos. I don't know. We just took it out of our house. Does chaos ever end? It's already been an interesting uh, morning and evening where we slept with our children. I slept with Jack. I slept with Toy. And the baby was on the other the side. The baby was on the other side, but it's fine. Uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to be all right. We'll survive. I don't know. We'll make it. You'll run 26 miles with it. I don't want to run 26 miles. Yeah. We'll be fun. Uh, but now, breakfast. Go with Daddy. We're all going. Go with Daddy. Going to go eat at the very bougie Sweet Paris Crepe and Cafe. Crepery. 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 <laughs> Okay, let's go. So how would you rate Sweet Paris crepes? Sweet Paris was really good. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, good. Fun I experience. Was, I thought it was really good. Crepes are good. It wasn't greasy or anything, so it was... Uh, nice and enjoyable. Yeah, it was light, fresh, it's very French feeling. I don't nice. know if it's authentic, but it was good. Yeah, nice company. Yeah, we met one of Aaron's running buddies. Mark, Chef Mark. Um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Yep, headed right, to... Now headed to the expo. Where are we? Read the sign and you'll know. What does it say? Welcome runner. Welcome runner. How you feeling? Good. <laughs> Excited. Ready. Good. And then we have ones with reindeer. You can tie it, that's fine. And then I can grow into it. Yeah, right? <laughs> If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. Okay, so Aaron did a little run that ended up being a little longer, right? Would you kind of got lost. <laughs> Went for a little two and a half or so mile shakeout run and then got turned around from where the parking garage was because we went down to the little water level. Oh, like a little river walk thing.
<laughs> How's it going? Did you have fun? It's going well. With all the kids stuff? <laughs> yeah. On the spot. Just been living in the kids' world. I, I like to be outside, but I feel gross when I spend the entire day outside. Like, I'm just so beyond ready to take a shower that that's where I am. But it's still fun. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Take a shower and uh, get ready to go eat dinner at True Food Kitchen. Alright, so it's race morning. And, um... There's three kids and Ashley in the room, so I gotta be quiet. All right, we're out here at the start line, getting ready to take off for my fifth marathon. Happy race day. Jack, what's today? Race day. Yeah, say race day. Yeah. <laughs> we are at the corner. We were told by Aaron to be at the northeast corner of Timberlock and Six Pines. Are we at the northeast corner? I think oh, we, are. we think. We're feeling pretty confident. We're so early that runners have not started coming through this area yet. We can hear the, inter the intercom though. But yeah, we can hear the intercom to the you know um, starting line and the finish. So feeling pretty good about that. But we should start to see full marathon runners come through this spot relatively soon um almost a mile six feeling pretty good just tired from subpar sleep for two nights in a row but we'll definitely finish one says that aaron is 7.8 miles in i don't know if that's accurate but we're at mile just past mile 13 so the fastest guy should be coming on this route pretty soon or we're not on the race route which I'm sure that's not accurate because look at these cones that's got to be race route right there's still cars coming through right here though so are they, <laughs> they going to block it off because there was a car right here in this lane so all I have to say is this is where Aaron told us to be and we are here this is where the map says to be we're in the map here comes the fast guys probably pretty soon He's not running quite that fast. Are you gonna cheer? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that rates your enthusiasm level very accurately. This makes me want to sneeze. This event is sneezable. Woo! Jack, you really gotta help me cheer. I sound really lame without your help. Here comes some more. Are you gonna cheer when your dad runs past? He'll be about halfway through the race whenever he comes through here. Are you going to cheer for him? No. Joy, are you directing traffic? <laughs> you want to be a police officer when you grow up? You direct traffic, tell cars where to go? Yeah. Yeah, all right. My shins are hurting so bad. All right, keep it up. You see him? You see daddy? Yeah. He's with Michaela. They were trying to catch you at that bridge. Right. Did they? I don't know if they saw you. I don't know. They didn't, I don't think. How much left? Right. 
two and a half? Two miles. Two. All right. We'll see you down there. Thank you. All right. Bye, Dad. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey. He's a warrior. Ah, and That's you. And you. Right, right there. That's a tough man right there. Keep it up, y'all. Almost finished. Looking good. Keep it up. We're at the almost finish of the Woodlands Marathon, and Aaron is running in with some buddies, and it looks like he's waiting for someone. This is it, y'all. You can do it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Woo! You gotta go fast. Go, Jack. All right, David. Good job. Well, just walking back to the car uh, that went horribly wrong. Second worst marathon of the five that I've done, and. Um, yeah, I really got to get my leg situation figured out. Not exactly sure what's up with it, but uh, it's more than just calf strain. And just like that, we're back home. We're sunburnt and tired, but we had fun. So thanks for following along with the journey this weekend. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.